think it's again about building a climate of openness that you can actually share your thoughts and your worries with your fellow working comrade or also in, in the higher echelons of an organization to build trust within the group of uh, on the board of directors or whatever sort of organization you have uh, because it's not possible for everybody to have the same picture of where are we going in the future and that, that's that's a constant phenomenon in all organizations to build that sort of trust being stable in meeting the unknown and, and a part of that is of course training and uh, to put some hard questions out there that have not yet happened to invest in that sort of time and discussions what if telling the story of why the narrative why we need change what is your role how, how can you contribute so it's to create um, a foundation of trust and willingness to contribute to change and the methods to do that is to understand what it's about and that takes time um, and usually the board of directors or the higher echelons they decide why and what but then you need always almost always a program on how to implement that change first of all it's happening so we need to embrace it we need to actually uh, understand that that is a fact it will happen and that's the basic because you need to actually embrace embrace change and put the hard questions out there that's the number one and um, that will of course create new opportunities and challenges but thinking about that it will not happen is absolutely the worst thing to do so we i think we need to embrace it it would be good if we can uh, use our time more wisely. Maybe we can build a more resilient society, thanks to robotics. Absolutely, and, and it's not change for the sake of change. It's when you actually have to say, okay, how long are my company valid? How long are our methods valid? How long is the products that we are selling actually able to be sold on the market? And um, if you are selling well, well, keep on doing. But in later, of course, there will be somebody else or something better. So that's, that's the balance of both. It's not, of course, change for the sake of change, but um, it's not that we cannot change because the world is changing. It's about, I think, invest in, in knowledge, invest in relations, invest in time to discuss those sort of things so that we are not constantly busy with the current but also with the future and if you do that then you build a bigger and, and um, more robust mentality in order to embrace change when it has to come so it's some sort of a constant investment in your personnel